Thank Senator you, Wilson. President. My question is to the Cabinet Secretary, Senator Sinodinas, representing the Minister for Trade and Investment. Senator George Cahal is chairman of the world's leading arbitration law firm defending governments being sued under investor state dispute settlement provisions. Mr Cole has said this week that the supposed safeguards in the investment chapter of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement do not immunise our government and the Australian people from being sued by big corporations using ISDS. Mr Cahill also said that Article 9.15, which supposedly provides safeguards, is negated by the phrase, unless otherwise consistent with this chapter. Mr Cahill also said that if the Trade Minister is saying that Australia is not at risk of being sued for making new or changing existing environmental regulations, then the Minister is wrong. Senator, do you agree with Mr Cahill's assessment that claims Australia is protected by supposed new safeguards in the TPP are, in his words, nonsense? Do you agree that the words, unless otherwise consistent in this chapter, negate these protections? Thank you, Senator. Uh, the Cabinet Secretary, Senator Senator Davis. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. The Minister for Trade and uh, no, I, I don't agree with the gentleman that you've quoted. I've not seen what he's had to say. I've seen other opinions provided by lawyers in the private sector who support what the government is saying. I think you'll probably find, depending on which barrow is being pushed by which particular group, you'll have all sorts of interpretations put upon that chapter. But the interpretation that we have taken based on the best legal advice and the efforts Mr. President, and the efforts of the Trade Minister is to ensure that under the Investor State Dispute Settlement provisions we protect our capacity to legislate in the public interest in sensitive policy areas, which include health, which include the environment. We have carved out our tobacco measures so they cannot be challenged in any way. And there are a number of safeguards around procedure which will make it easier for groups that may have issues with the way ISDS works to be represented in any proceedings as well. But what people seem to forget is that this is a reciprocal arrangement. What will happen is that this provides protection to Australian investors in other countries where their legal systems may not be as advanced or sophisticated as ours. This is very much a two-way street. Thank you, Cabinet Secretary. Senator Wish Wilson, a supplementary question. Senator, Mr Carhill also said the most favoured nation status provisions within the TPP investment chapter provide big corporations with a loophole which enables them to go treaty shopping and use ISDS clauses with impunity within existing agreements that most suit their claims. Given the high level of public concern over the inclusion of ISDS in the TPP, why did our governments agree and sign up to such dangerous provisions? Cabinet Secretary. <laughs> Mr President, I'm happy to arrange a briefing for the Senator with people from the Office of the Trade Minister and any legal advisers you want who will verify what I am saying, what Mr Robb, the Trade and Investment Minister, is saying about the safeguards that are being built into these processes. And these safeguards are very important in terms of public policy areas that I mentioned, like health and the environment. There will be no capacity for whether it's the most favoured nation clause or any other clause to cut across our capacity to legislate in our public interest. And let me remind you that it was this Prime Minister, Mr Turnbull, and the Trade Minister, Mr Robb, who stood up to the full force of the US Trade Representative, the White House and the President on issues like biologics and got a deal which reflects our circumstances and guarantees that our pharmaceutical prices our health-related prices will not go up as a result of doing this deal. Thank you, Cabinet Secretary. Final supplementary question, Senator Wish Wilson. Senator, given experts are stating ISDF safeguards in the TPP are as weak as water, can the government provide a guarantee to the Australian people that we won't be sued by foreign corporations for tougher climate change regulation into the future? For example, by legislating a new carbon reduction program or increasing the renewable energy target, by putting moratoriums on coal seam gas or by closing dirty coal mines? Cabinet Secretary. Well, Mr President, I may well ask the good senator whether his party will give a guarantee not to use technicalities of the law to stop major job generating projects yeah, yeah. in places like Queensland. I mean, I find it a bit rich that you seek to attack these provisions and at the same time are always telling us and lecturing us about signing up to international conventions of all sorts 
which hobble the capacity of the Australian government to do things that we regard as being in the Australian Pause national the interest. Order. Order. Senator Wish Wilson, a point of order. Po yeah, point of order on, on, re on relevance, President. I asked, could the senator give a guarantee? Very simple request that Australian people won't be sued into the future through the TPP investment chapter. Thank you, uh, Senator Wish Wilson. On my left, on my left, I'll remind the I'll remind the uh, cabinet secretary of the question and advise me as 30 seconds in which to answer, cabinet secretary. Mr. President, I'm happy to give a guarantee that under the TPP, Australia will be a richer and more prosperous country in the decades ahead, and the ISD provisions will work to our advantage. Thank you, Cabinet Secretary.